Right, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another player review. So today we'll be reviewing 95 rated team of the season so far, Shizny. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Apologies if I am getting it wrong. If you're either Polish or you support Juventus and you know how to pronounce his name, let me know down below and let me know if I'm saying it right or not because honestly, I'm horrible when it comes to names. So hopefully, no disrespect towards him if I do get it wrong, but we're going to go with Shizny. Hopefully that is the case. But anyways, we are going to hop in to his player bio, his attribute details, traits, we're then going to hop into a few games with him and it depends how much footage we get, if we play two games and are both packed with heaps and heaps of saves then we'll use them but if we don't get much content um, from those two games we may play three maybe even four games just as soon as I'm happy with the amount of content I have with this card um, but after that we will give him an overall rating out of 10 whether or not I think he's worth it, his pros and cons and uh, wait yeah that's it really and on Honestly, looking at his stats, he looks incredible, which we'll get into in the second tier. This is a team we'll be playing him in. Of course, we'll have Desai and Campbell protecting him. Usually, I have team of season Hummels in um, for Campbell, but we can't in this case just because we need to get Chesney on full chem. But before we get into his attributes, if you guys are new and you do want to help me out, it means so much if you do so by just dropping a like and subscribing. It means so much. Anyways, getting into the player bio, he is six foot five, which is very tall. You do not see much six foot five players this FIFA. I mean, well, any FIFA realistically. Lots of the time, six foot four maybe, six foot is goalies, six foot five is amazing, the taller the better in goal. Six foot five can couldn't ask for much better to be honest. Right foot, one star skill moves of course, but three star weak foot isn't that bad at all. Of course doesn't matter too much as a keeper, just if you need to pass it back to your keeper and you have to boot it, then yes it does come in helpful in that scenario, but it's not a massive deal whatsoever. Going to his attributes, literally Everything goes up to basically 99 with this. I'll put him on full chem actually, that's a good idea. I'll put him on full chem right now. He's not on full chem because he does not have loyalty. Um, but like, use a basic on your player. Uh, lots of you guys will know basic is the way to go with keepers because they get a plus 10 on literally everything. So a plus 10 on his 96 diving, which is actually just a plus 3. So 99 diving, 99 handling, 94 kicking, 99 reflexes, 99 positioning. And he also gets a plus 5 acceleration boost, which will probably put him to roughly 60, 61 speed, which is relatively good for a keeper. I mean, Yashin, at the beginning of the game, was the fastest keeper in the whole game with 64 speed. Um, and with this basic chem style, Shizuni at 61 is very good. Now, like I said, a basic chem style gets everything up. His lowest stat other than speed is his 94 kicking. And his this is where it's important, I reckon. This is the most important page on the stats for a keeper. Comes for crosses. Comes out for crosses. Lots of keepers have that. My favourite trait personally with a keeper is a save with feet trait. We'll see. see Yashin doesn't have some, which is strange. But my favourite trait with a goalkeeper is the saves with feet. Um, so, honestly, and rushes out. But my favourite two traits. But comes for crosses. It is what it is. And she's me being 6'5 will have some incredible reach. So, without further ado, guys, let's get in to the review. Is this card worth a price tag of 90k? Let's get into it. Yes, alright, now hopping into the first match, we're just going to show uh, the first match opponent, I'm not going to show every single individual match, um, the opponent, the team will be facing, because that will be add an extra 20 seconds on the video, which is pointless. So in the first game, what the hell? What the hell is this dude's pack luck? So he's got some amazing, he's got Prime Butra, I'm guessing, from the pack. He's got Red Son from the beginning of the game. Red Kazool is decent. Red Van Dyke and Red Robertson. What the hell, man? What the? Well, I'm, I'd be surprised if this dude doesn't beat me with that team, honestly. But uh, she's will be tested a lot here. Jeez, man. Oh, is he at the post? Shizny does die for it. Of course, he doesn't have to be tested because my opponent does miss. Um, lovely stuff to actually get the dive through, though. I, some goalkeepers in that position would literally just stand still and stare at the ball. Um, so luckily, he did dive to know that if it was on target, we had a decent chance of actually saving it. What the? Oh, what a save, Shizny. I literally, I'm waiting for Myers to make that run. There we are. I literally thought that was 100% going in. What a save, Shizny, mate. Oh wow, we've conceded. What a goal from Son, man. 1-0 down. Shizny 
Uh, lovely run out of a box, easy catch. Of course, any keeper's saving that, um, but lovely from him. Wait, actually, that was lovely. If we can actually get to it. Ah, uh, nah, there's no chance. What the hell? <laughs> well, I don't know what my opponent's thinking there. Very easy. We're just going to... Like, he, he seems fast. He does seem fast, which is good. Um, once again, wow, man. That, that's impressive. I'm honestly really impressed with his kicking. Of course, 94 in-game kicking. Absolutely crazy. Literally from the bat, we're playing it back to him. Um, reasons being, I just want to switch sides. Because this dude is rushing lots of his opponents out on the uh, my right side of the pitch. That probably made no sense at all. Playing that back to Chesney, oh, of course a simple pass there. Oh, we've been open. Yeah, we've been... Oh my god, what a save! What a save! Have my... Oh god, this isn't really good right now, we're not in the best of positions. This dude's attacking a lot. Um, We do get it, but once again we're in tight... We actually win a goal kick from it, perfect. We're just going to boot it all the way, full power. I save us every time, I'm going to save us every time I kick with them. Insane kicking. Yeah, nah. We've been. Well, there's nothing we can do with that one. Good, good play by my opponent. We're gonna go attacking now. Let's go. Oh god. Oh, he's missed it. Brilliant pressure put on by Shizny. Lovely stuff. Amazing kick. <laughs> like I said, I'm seeing it every time. Right, so in the third and most likely final match, we had one clip from the last game that was quite boring um, last game, but we get, did get that one clip from Shizny now in the third and final match. It's a solid team. He's got some interesting icons there, to be honest, though. He's got that Maida up front, too. It's decent. Um, like I said, if he's doing the mid-icon packs and he's getting those icons, he's not ent entirely lucky. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do with this game. Oh, we've conceded 1-1. One, one. Game is on. Game's on, man. It's 2-1. This is a close game. This dude is good, man. This dude is good. Oh, Shizny, that's amazing. That is very, very clutch. Oh, what a save, Shizny, but it falls back to him. That's come off Shizny. Shizny scored an own goal from that. Wow, that's unfortunate because it was such a good save. And then that, oh wow, I mean, I suppose it was a really powerful shot. Not much Shizny could do there, but good first save, but good first save. Oh, total heartbreak there, man. Total heartbreak. He's shushing me too. 4-4 as well. We literally dominate the whole game. So unlucky, man. So unlucky. Shizny couldn't save that one. Um, but f we went 4-2 up. And then back down again. Unfortunate. We're going to go attacking, see if we can get anything for, at all from this game. Right, lads. Well, this is the last play, so it is going to be a draw in the second match here. Um, yeah, no, nah, it is a draw in the second match here. It was a close game. Um, of course, this dude was toxic. I I'm happy we managed to get a point away from him, though. Uh, but anyways, well, sorry, we got a draw and took the win away from him. But this will be the end of the review. We've played, like, four games. There hasn't been too much clips. But overall, Shizny's had a pretty rough game. He's literally conceded four. He's made five saves, though. Of course, he did have that really good reflex. Uh, we did have that really good save in the first half. Um, but honestly, overall, he conceded a lot. He wasn't anything special. There was moments where he was really good, and I was really impressed with him. But, I mean, I don't know, man. He's not hes not incredible, incredible. And I'd say there's much better options out there, whether it's to Stegen um, or just a really meta player. I mean, from me using Yashin, Yashin was definitely, for me anyways, better. But that is just my opinion. And overall, I feel like Shizny is a good card. So if you got him out, you're guaranteed pack. It's, don't worry, it's not an L. If you can fit him in your team, it will be fine. Um, and he won't be terrible. But overall, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Um, it's hard with pros and cons for keepers. A big pro I found was his kicking. Um, as for cons, I would say is just... In general, he, he just conceded a lot, and that's with some players, with some goalkeepers that obviously some are amazing, some aren't great. Shizny falls under the category in the middle. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's not. So overall, that's his only cons I can think of, and 
like I said, his pros, his reflexes were impressive. Um, but that one instance where he did get that own goal wasn't good at all. He really should have, I don't know, put more pressure on, ran faster. I don't know. I really couldn't have done anything in that position. He did good to get the ball first, but it's just after that wasn't brilliant. And overall, like I said, a 7, 7.5 out of 10 for him isn't horrible. I'm going to say for 80k, he's a good card. So I'm going to say he is worth it. But at the same time, there's better options out there. You can buy normal to Stegen for probably half the price at the moment. And I'll definitely choose him over Chesney because to Stegen's just broken on this game. Um, but if you're someone that has used to Stegen and you're not a fan of him, then maybe um, try Chesney. Goalkeepers are different for lots of different people. Lots of it is just up to luck. And Chesney, like I said though, he has those stats. He has those traits. He has those player bio attributes he is insane and he is an insane card so we will give him a tick he is worth it anyways thank you guys for watching this video hopefully it did help you guys out in some way possible if it did make sure to show that love by dropping a like and subscribing anyways it has been davis and until next time i'll see you later